Be aware of result-oriented mind. Excerpt from Horizons Beyond the Mind Human mind is result-oriented. It always seeks results. Such a mind is indeed stupid. The result-oriented mind is really a stupid mind. It is stupid because it goes on sacrificing the present moment for the future. The present moment is atomic and reality, whereas future is not yet born. Sacrificing, yes, indeed sacrificing. It is considered stupid because this sacrifice is absolutely non-creative. It goes on postponing. This is not respect for the future. Also it is just a way to avoid the present, this very moment. The result-oriented man always postpones his hopes for tomorrow. He simply hopes for the best, but never lives the best. All that change can happen, it can happen now, this very moment. He thinks he will live. Tomorrow he is going to live, or the day after tomorrow, or in old age. And after this life, he will certainly live in heaven. Thus he goes on living. The saga of life continues. And while he is thinking, dreaming and hoping, life is slipping out of his hand moment to moment. He is not living it at all. Instead, he is indifferent to life itself. He watches it woefully, slipping out of his hand, but he is happy. He is sacrificing for the sake of the future, a bright future. He lives in a sort of apathy, totally uninterested. His interest is only in the future. His interest is in goals, his dreams, not in the journey. Therefore he moves amidst beautiful scenes, but he lives in apathy. He cannot see the tree, the breeze rustling through the tree leaves, the birds in flight, beauty of a flower and the joy of a child giggling. His whole mind is fixed somewhere beyond the hills. When he has arrived, when he has arrived there, only then he is going to relax and live and see the beauty of the nature. The beauty of nature is all around him, but his eyes are covered with the hope of the future. Right this moment a breeze passes, touching him, but he is apathetic to it. The beauty of the flower is inviting in great celebration. It has sent the message with the fragrance riding the wings of the wind. However, the man is dead to it. A bird is calling, but he has not heard it. His whole mind is focused somewhere in the tomorrow. Certainly you have to be respectful towards the future. However, you can never live in future. Whenever future comes, first it evolves out of your this very moment. And whenever it comes, it always comes as this very moment now. You can never live in future. Certainly you can live in the present. 
In fact, this is what I mean by being respectful towards the future. If you are living your this very moment respectfully, out of that what will evolve in relation to this very moment is called future. But it will always come as present. Therefore love the process so deeply without any worry of the goal. Live as if there is no goal. You are listening to me but without any preconceived idea. If nothing happens out of it, that is not the point and should not bother you at all. Remember I love every moment while speaking to you. While this overflow happened, only you existed for me in this whole wide world and everything else has disappeared. There is nothing for me to gain in talking to you. There is no monetary gain or otherwise. I do not get any credentials for it either. Yet still I continue to overflow day in and do day out. Yet still I continue to overflow day in and day out. It is out of sheer joy. Celebration. I am celebrating myself and I share that celebration with whosoever comes in my company, in this commune. There is nothing for me to gain. While I talk to you, I really talk to you. It is as if this is the very way of my life. And if you listen to me also with the same passion and the same intensity, then who bothers whether anything happens out of it or not? This is what Hindus call as Leela, a play. A lot happens, but you are not goal-oriented. You are not thinking of something to happen. If you have been so passionately in the moment, something is bound to happen out of it. Because in that passion seeds are sown in the heart, they will certainly sprout one day and then one day you will reap the fruits at the dawn of new awakening. A new life surges in you, life of awareness life of deep understanding, life of deep lovingness, life of deep godliness, a reverence for all, a life of celebration, a total dance celebration. That is all. Nothing else is meaningful. 